Once again, I forgot to film an intro to a video, which always happens, so you might want to get used to that. It's like 11, so I'm going to post this in the morning. I just wanted to let you know that this is going to be a voiceover video. It's easier to cook without talking because it's hard to like get the sound right. This was a short cooking video. I have like four other cooking videos that I'm going to post this week or next week. Enjoy this cooking video. <laughs> So there's actually a lot of vegan brownie mixes more than you would think. Just make sure you check the box and make sure that it doesn't have eggs or milk or any animal byproducts. So I'm using the dark chocolate fudge brownie mix and honestly it's not like a strong dark chocolate taste. It literally just tastes like regular brownies. They're starting to put on the box how you can replace eggs and I just think it's really progressive and nice that they put that on there for vegans like us. So now I'm using flax seeds as an egg replacement and honestly at first when working with flax seeds I thought it was going to make a big difference texture and taste wise but it literally doesn't taste like anything and it makes everything taste like if you used regular eggs. So in order to fully accomplish the egg replacement with flax seeds you need to use one tablespoon of flax seeds and then three tablespoons of water for each one. So my uncle bought us this mixer and it's literally the most fanciest thing I've ever had, kitchen appliance wise. So now I'm just pouring one third cup of vegetable oil. You can use any, I just like this brand a lot. And for the water, anytime I'm baking, I always use milk instead of water just because I feel like it tastes better. So I'm just pouring one third cup of oat milk and this is our favorite oat milk. And then I'm just using the mixer to mix everything together, which is so handy. It's literally the best, easiest mixer to use and it saves me so much time. It literally took me like five minutes to prep everything and then just put it in the oven and they were done in like 20 minutes. And I didn't film this part of the video, but I always put vegetable oil at the bottom of a pan first before I pour any of the cake mix or brownie mix. And I always use foil just so it's easier to get the brownies off and it won't be very messy on the pan because it is so hard to take brownie mix or cake mix out of a pan. So now I'm pouring everything and just getting the rest of the brownie mix out of the bowl. I totally forgot to tell you to preheat your oven, but I'm pretty sure that's obvious like for anybody that's baking anything but preheat the oven to 350. I let them bake for like 20 to 25 minutes. They came out perfect. They were crunchy on top and soft in the middle and just amazing. It might look kind of weird. There's like a bunch of holes in it. It's because I used a fork to see if it was ready but they came out amazing. I hope you use this recipe and that your brownies come out just as good as mine. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with someone that you want to go vegan.